you are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us here we want to solve this equation finding the value of x in x raised to power 10 minus x raised to power 6 all over x raised to power 6 minus x raised to power 4 equals 20. here we can separate something like x raised to power 6 from x raised to power 10 that is you know 10 is 6 plus 4 so this x raised to power 10 will then become x raised to power 6 multiplied by x raised to power 4 because when we write this again from the law of indices it will just be x raised to power 6 plus 4 which is x raised to power 10 so then minus x raised to power 6 which is this then divided by also we can separate something of x raised to power 4 from here can break it as you know 4 plus 2 so this can be written as x raised to power 4 multiplied by x raised to power 2 minus x raised to power 4 then which is equal to 20 so now from here we can factor what is common x raised to power 6 is common up here so let's take it out and we have x raised to power 6 out then into bracket what is left here is x raised to power 4 then minus 1 left here then divided by also from the denominator what is common is x raised to power 4 we have x raised to power 4 out we have x square left here then minus 1 equals to 20 also now from there we now try to eliminate x raised to power 4 and factor something like x raised to power 4 out from you know x raised to power 6 here so that we have x raised to power 4 times x raised to power 2 so this is x raised to power 4 times x raised to power 2 then into bracket x raised to power 4 minus 1 then divided by we have x raised to power 4 so this is equal to 20 and x raised to power 4 can cancel x raised to power 4 now then from there when we rewrite okay we have to complete this as x square minus 1 so equals to 20 so from there now by the time we rewrite what we have now we are left with x squared into bracket now let's rewrite this x raised to power 4 as x square then all squared because when this multiplied we still have x raised to power 4 then minus 1 1 also can be written as 1 squared then divided by x squared minus 1 left here then which is equal to 20 now from here we have something of the form difference of two squares when we have a square minus b squared so we have difference of two square and the expansion of this will give us a plus b multiplied by a minus b so we have this from difference of two square here our a is x square and our b is one so when we apply that here this will become x squared multiplied by we have x squared that's a plus b which is one then times x square minus 1 which should then be over over we have x square minus 1 let's see here equals to 20 don't forget that you know x square minus 1 here can cancel each other then what we have left we then be we have x squared into x square plus 1 equals to 20 now we can expand this to form an equation we have here we have x raised to power 4 now plus x squared equals to 20 and uh, we can take 20 to this side will be minus 20 then equals to 0 so from here we can also rewrite this as x squared then squared that's x raised to power 4 then plus x squared minus 20 we then be equal to zero so we can let a letter represent 
x square so let x square be equals to a letter y so that this will become y squared plus y then minus 20 equals to 0 then we can solve this by factorizing so that we have y squared plus 5y minus 4y minus 20 equals 0 5y minus 4y will give us plus y so when we group this you know into we have y we come out here yeah, y is common we have y plus 5 left then what is common here is minus 4 we mean y then plus 5 inside which is equal to 0 then y plus 5 come here we have y plus 5 out then times y minus 4 left equals to 0 then we have two you know cases here the first is y plus 5 equals to 0 and uh, we have the second as y minus 4 equals 0 now from here we have y equals to minus 5 and from here we have y equals to taking minus there 4 then here we have negative and from here we are not going to get the resolution we are not going to have a resolution from here now let's work with y equals to 4 from y equals to 4 our x is our y is represented as x squared so y is same thing as x squared that means x squared equals to 4 then we can you know square root both sides when you take the square root of both sides so square root on this side we have x squared the square root of x squared equals to square root of 4 and then we are expected to get two possible solution which is plus or minus so square cancel square roots then we have x will then be equals to plus or minus 2 so the resolution we have here we have x to be equals to 2 or x to be equals to minus 2 so we have this solution and we have therefore come to the end of this class don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now